Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Ashok IT. In this video, we will understand how to map application URL to beautiful domain name by using Route 53 service in the AWS cloud. Alright, let's get started. Here, I am having one website in my local system. Let me open that website in the browser. We can see the website is accessible in our browser. Only I can access this website in my system currently because it is running in the local. Now I want to host this website in the cloud platform so that everybody can access. For that I will use AWS S3. I will create a bucket in the AWS S3. Bucket name I am using IESapp.link. I am creating the bucket in the Mumbai region. Enable ACL for the bucket. By default bucket will not be available for public. Let's uncheck this checkbox so that public access will be there and create the bucket. With this, our bucket got created successfully. Check the bucket here, iesapp.link is our bucket. Go inside the bucket, you can see currently we don't have any objects in the bucket, object nothing but files. Now whatever the website content is available, we need to upload these files and folders into our bucket. Click on upload, select the files and folders. Adding index.html and error.html and adding assets folder. Inside the assets, several files available. Select all the files. And here we need to give the permission for public read access so that people can access our website content. Click on upload. You can see the files are uploading into our bucket. Uploading got successful. Now go to bucket properties. We need to enable website hosting. Here click on edit, enable that, host static website and here we need to provide website document, index document, index.html, error document, error.html. We already uploaded these files into our bucket. We need to give the file names here. Click on save changes, done. With this website hosting got completed, we can see for our website endpoint URL got generated. Click on that URL. Now our website is accessible. Now this website is running in the cloud. Everybody can access our website by using this URL. But the problem is this URL is very lengthy. People will not like this kind of URLs. And it is difficult to remember this URL also. If you see in the market, gmail.com, facebook.com, instagram.com, some beautiful names will be available. How to map our application also to such a kind of beautiful URL. That's where Amazon Route 53 service comes into picture. We can map our application URLs to beautiful domain by using Route 53 service so that when people access the domain, it will be redirected to our application. For that, first we need to register a domain in the Route 53. Here I have registered already a domain with the name called iesapp.link. So if you want to register a domain, go to register domain option. You need to search for the domain availability first. Suppose if you check for javaguru.com, unfortunately the domain is not available, .com extension not available for the domain, you can see the remaining extensions are available. Based on the extension, the price is going to change. If you see for a .tv extension, $32, for a .com, $13, $12, prices are available. Based on the requirement, we can select the domain and we need to purchase the domain. If you see .link extension the domain is available for $5. $5 is the least cost that we can use to purchase a domain. We can select the domain and we can purchase. Remember, we need to pay the money for the domain. Here I already purchased the domain iesapp.link. Now, this website URL, I want to map to this domain name. Go to hosted zones option. When you register the domain, the hosted zone will be created. Go inside the hosted zone. In that we can see records. There are two records already available. Don't touch those records. We need to create a new record. Click on create record. Don't enter anything in the subdomain. Record type will be A and we need to map our domain to S3 bucket endpoint URL. So select as alias, select S3 endpoint, choose the region in which region our S3 bucket got created. We created that in the Mumbai region. Then choose your endpoint URL. Remember, 
If your bucket name and domain name both are same, then only you can do this process here. Click on create records. With this, our application URL is mapping to domain. Currently, you can see the status is pending. It will take one or two minutes of time to update the status to in sync. We can see status got changed to in sync now. That means the domain mapping is completed successfully. Go to browser and type our domain URL now. When we hit the domain URL, we are able to access our application. Instead of giving the lengthy URL to the customers, we can give that short URL to access our application. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this, please subscribe to our channel for more updates.